Minasan, konnichiwa, squishy toke, yokuso. Today we are in Oduri Park in Sapporo and it is between Susukino and Sapporo Station. So, probably the most popular areas of Sapporo. So, yeah, let's take a look around. So, I actually came here before a couple of years ago. I think the last time I was here was during the Snow Festival, which is a really famous event that happens here every winter. So it's really nice for me to see all the flowers and the neatly trimmed grass because last time I was here I didn't see any of this because it was all covered in snow. This park is really interesting because even though it's right in the centre of the city it is so beautiful. So there's this fountain here, there's a larger fountain in the middle over there and it's covered in flowers. I really like Odori Park as well because there's always something to do every season they have some kind of event or festival happening here it's really fun it's amazing i think the sound of water is one of the most relaxing sounds From pit vine. the sky was absolutely beautiful okay so the sapphire tv tower is just right there and weirdly, I don't think I've ever been this close to it before, but it's one of the most famous landmarks in Sapporo. It's a really nice area to walk around and experience the city. So we finally arrived at Sapporo TV Tower. And as you can see, they have an event going on right underneath it. Uh, yeah, this is pretty normal for Odori Park, which is one of the things that I love. There's always, always something to do here. The TV tower was so much taller than I had expected, but it looks amazing against the blue sky. So obviously I came here to see the park and everything that Odori Cohen has to offer, but that does include one other thing on my list. Sapporo beer. <laughs> I've talked about it before, it is my favourite beer in Japan. So now I'm going to go and get some. Okay, so I've got my beer and it very clearly says, oh, I'll spin it around, only Hokkaido. So yeah, you can't get Sapporo Classic anywhere else in Japan. So I miss it a lot when I can't be in Hokkaido. Anyway, Kanpai. Oh my God, <laughs> it's so good. Oh. Perfect. I missed it so much. And to be honest, I have drank this already since I've been in Hokkaido, but it tastes so much better when it's like draft. It's draft beer like that, right? Yeah, when it's come out of the tap instead of a can. I mean, they're both good, but yes, yeah, it's the first time I've had it since I've come to Hokkaido when it's come out of a tap and it's perfect. And I love it and I'm happy. Oishi. So the weather is really nice today. It rained a little bit earlier, but I think the weather's always better after it's rained because the air just feels a little bit fresher. Um, and that's what we're experiencing today. So the fresh air, the flowers, the weird music in the background combined with beer, it's perfect, really. Nothing is better than drinking beer outside with a view. Next time I want to go into the TV tower. This is Cherry Blossom Some Yoshino and if I'd come to Sapporo about a week earlier I probably would have seen all of the cherry blossoms in full bloom but unfortunately I've missed it. However, it is still really pretty and it's really nice to see all of the petals in between all of these flowers here. It's nice. It's like snow almost. <laughs> Another thing that I love about Odori Koen and I think just Japan in general is 
you could be in a really busy city like we are now but if you look over there you can see beautiful mountains we don't have that in the uk at all when you're in the city it is the city like there's not really much nature around unless you count parks whereas in japan i've noticed in a bunch of different places that i've been you're in the city but if you look across like you can clearly see nature i love it so much i think it's one of my favorite things about japan and one of my favorite things about sapporo as well okay so i got some imomochi which i've never had before so i'm super super excited to try it all right here we go oh crap here it is itadakimasu <laughs> I'm really surprised because it really is like mochi. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting that because I thought, oh, it's potato, so how much like mochi can it actually be? a lot like mochi that's really crazy i've never had anything like this before in my life it's so good i'm now definitely a big fan of imo mochi so hokkaido is very famous for age imo and i want to try that too definitely but th this is delicious i'm so surprised i don't really know what i was expecting i think in the uk potato is always very plain so I guess I was expecting the same for this but it's so good it's so good I'll just show you mm. Mm. this might be my new favorite snack I might be a bit obsessed with this <laughs> So just a short walk from the park was Tokedai, which is another famous landmark in Sapporo. I was so excited that I got to see it. That's it for today's video, you guys. So if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please leave your comments below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.